Hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and uh, in this video I'm gonna show you uh, how you can deploy your uh, flutter web projects to github pages I know you have asked for it in the comments and uh, this is the part 2 which I was talking about there will be more parts because it is still not finished I'm just gonna show you that how you can uh, quickly deploy it to github pages so uh, we are gonna use one package which is peanut which is uh, just created two days back by uh, Kevin Moore who uh, works in the Dart team who is I guess the project manager of the Dart team and uh, he has already shown it on his blog if you will visit it um, so so maybe you can refer to that or you can refer here but I'm gonna give you the practical example of uh, uh, this portfolio um, project which we created so you just have to go to your visual studio code to the master branch so the problem with um, if you want to do it uh, manually then you have to make a docs folder and then only you have to shift the code there and then then the github pages will work second process is that you can make a different branch called gh pages and then you can do the things but then uh, you have to like uh, you will have two branches one is master one is github pages and you have to maintain them uh, both of them kind of merging and all that stuff so to fix all of those things uh, this is the peanut package uh, which is uh, i'm talking about now let's see how we can um, uh, do this uh, particular deployment to github pages so here i'll open my terminal and first of all you have to run pub global um, activate peanut okay so once you will do that uh, so you it will show me like, like for me it is currently active at version 3.2.1 but if it is not currently active then it will activate uh, uh, if you can see peanut 3.2.1 once peanut is activated you don't have to actually do anything you just have to write here on the terminal peanut okay if you are already facing the issue of directly running the web commands then you have to write flutter pub global run peanut something like that so um I, i'm gonna show you that as well in my uh, another demonstration which i'll give just after uh, doing this particular project with flutter ui kit um so we can see that now uh, we have another branch called gh pages with this particular commit and if i look into here then you can see i have another branch gh pages now what i want i want to um, push this branch so i can write something like it push okay origin and then set upstream and uh, I'm gonna name it GH pages so it will push this to github pages and then yes so now we have this new branch everything is pushed now let's go back to our repository and let's see if it's there so if I refresh here then you can see I have two branches now one is um, master another one is GH pages and uh, if i just go back from here okay so um, you will see one more thing uh, if i go back here then oh what's happening so i guess my net is low okay so let's go back again to my repositories my portfolio and now uh, you can see one more thing here this one environment if i'll go there so it will tell you that you know I have deployed this I am pages to um, this particular uh, is the version number and uh, here 38 seconds ago although it has previous commands as well because I did it earlier as well now uh, you can click on this view deployment and you will see it will take you to uh, your domain name slash the app name so this is uh, this particular name which you will give so I, you can see this is now working you can open it on your mobile or browser anywhere so it's mtechviral.com slash this but because I have already uh, connected my domain with the github dot uh, so I am pavan dot github dot io so if uh, so if you will see my github account it is I am pavan so if you are not connected with any custom domain then it will be something like this I am pavan dot github dot io 
so something like this i am pawan.github.is slash your app name okay and then if i enter then it will take me to mtechwire.com which is not secure sorry for that <laughs> okay <laughs> but uh, so it's just for demonstration so uh, you can check it out now so this is how you will um, do these kind of changes let's say if i want to um, change something here in this project then how i will do and how i will merge it with the uh, master right so i'm still on the master branch if you have seen that so if you will see here i'm still on the master branch and i'm doing things on the gh pages which is kind of good right now um if you will see here in the github pages branch let me just show you then there will not be any lib folder no lib folder only so you'll see main.dart.js where you'll see lot of lot of code so um that might be reason it is lit a little bit slow and updates are also a little bit slow uh, so i'm switching back to master branch now what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna do some a little changes so rather than here we can see i have this pk dot okay so um i'm gonna just change it to something else so what should i change it to uh let's say pk mtech viral okay so this is the change which i am doing here now here i can just write uh changed pk to pk mtech viral um yes and i'll just commit these changes now i want uh, it to reflect so let me just clear it a little bit okay now what i have to write so first of all i have to um just run peanut here so that these changes can be uh, done to gh pages and then i have to push the same changes to master branch as well so you can see it is taking some time right now but uh, it will be finished soon right okay 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 so it is done okay so this is fine um and now i am here on the pawan kumar this this, this and gh pages was updated with this commit now now if you will um check this particular stuff here in the github repository okay one second so in the my portfolio you will see i have six commits now but uh, this one is the revert this commit is still not here because i haven't pushed it so to push it uh, what i have to write here let me just show you so wait a second so i can write get push origin maybe wait one second and then gh pages to master and then it will take some time it will resolve few things and it is done so now i'll go back here and then i'll refresh it and you can see i have now seven commits and the last one is changed pk to pkm tech viral which we want now in the environment you will see that this was deployed 10 seconds ago deployed to github pages now if i'll see the deployment then it's still pk dot why because um, it takes some time to reflect those changes maybe one to two minutes so um we have to refresh it again and again um because that's the only option i have right now but i guess you can also specify the version number because it maintains um a cached version of it and if you're using a custom domain then it's even gonna take more time um so i guess this is the version right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just copy it if i can okay yes i can from here one second why i cannot copy this yes here so before that let's just refresh it once more uh, it's still not appearing why okay let me just see if i change it just to the oh it's mine i guess okay so we can specify the version as well here and i can just replace it with this version will it show the changes now uh it's not working let's try this again um so uh, this is the commit 
or let me just replace it with the commit as well if that's what works no it's not working so um it can take some time to reflect those changes to be honest i don't know why it's taking that much time but uh, um, it generally takes one to two minutes and uh, still not two minutes i guess so it's not working but this is the app which you i'm gonna just show you i land this video before um like after seeing the changes and uh, also let me know if you want me to make another video with flutter ui kit with the same thing so that you know we can uh, identify if this is working or not and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run in a new incognito window with this so that it does not catch uh, cache it so let's see yes so if i go to this uh, incognito mode then you can see uh, it's fine I, I guess it is it is gonna take few more minutes in normal uh, this particular version of it if i'll refresh it now Oh, it's still not showing because it is showing the cached version and maybe it can take some more time but if you will visit anywhere else you will see the changes so that's it about this video i hope you enjoyed it and uh, i'll make separate video on how to um do more changes as soon as those changes will be coming to flutter web so this will be our current project also if you want me to make a video on um, flutter ui kit with the same thing then let me know in the comments thank you so much guys for watching if you enjoyed then like the video subscribe the channel press the bell icon to get future updates and also you can check this code on github and the link all the links are available in the description so bye bye take care and have a fun